ridiculous. You know, these, these videos don't have to be perfect. It's called reality. Yeah, reality. It's documenting reality. So yeah. we, don't, we don't have to be movie stars or perfect. Yeah. If we stutter or sweat or get nervous, it's normal. Yeah. that's normal. It doesn't yeah, matter. that's normal. <laughs> Okay, it's not, it's, yeah, but it's just it's, it's creating the content. So the more content we create, the better it is. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to obviously now, um, Luis is in, right? Mm -hmm. We want to um, sort of start thinking about the sort of content we're going to we're going to sort of create. Mm -hmm. You know, so um, Connor, he, he's done all the um, YouTube uh, thumbnails. Oh, yeah. But what we want to do on the thumbnail, because the thumbnails, I don't think they're sort of powerful enough. I think we need some sort of like slight images uh, with sort of strap lines over the top. You know, pull up the, the, the YouTube because mm -hmm. you know the, the, th the thumbnails here are just like you know they're not they're not sort of powerful images. Mm -hmm. You know they I think to capture people's attention they need to be like. Yeah, I don't. Exactly. <laughs> you know, so just more basic images of, you know, me or whoever's the, the, the actual video is about, and then over the top, you know, you you can do the graphics like this, can't you? Yeah. That's quite easy, isn't it? Yeah. You know, and you know when you do an image, you know, say so that that was an image of me, and and you cut the background out, and then you superimpose, you know, the background. That's quite easy, isn't it? You can do that. Yeah, it's fine. What, so do you want it to look more like that, or do you want it to be simple? Yeah. Is that, like, is the, the other one is more graphic? Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I would say, I would say, uh, sort of plain, you know, just like, you know, like that, just, you know. And I'm also... Going through the brushes with Louisa, the two brushes. Yeah. What, what, so... With, uh, Hayley Hunt and Marco Stokettis. So Hayley, um, the Lady Victoria brochure, mm -hmm. so you, you, can you unlock the PDF and just put Hayley's image. Well, as it is a PDF, yeah. I'll have to put Recreate. everything on the design, yeah. 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 So we can do that. So we've got Hayley's um, image. Yeah, which is quite pixelated, isn't it? Yeah. Really nice. So yeah. maybe we need to get... <laughs> what, so it's not a very high resolution no, image? No, not we'll the, look a bit. the logo and the photograph, right? Yeah. yeah. I could try. Yeah, but that's it because the, 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 the Lady Victoria image is really high resolution, it looks really nice, doesn't it? Yeah. So we, let's let's get Hayley to do a, even if she comes in here and we have a, a, a nice pick, you know, her standing next to the sign or something. Yeah. Or in her own office. Have you heard of TikTok? Well, you did, we did one oh, yeah. together. Yeah, but it's, it's, it, 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 it's good for Instagram stories, so you can, I can walk around a property with music, right, and it could, and you can like cut it, so it's a little bit fun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it's a really good and music on the background and, and music in the background, can. and you can make it a little bit more fun. Yeah, but I, I'm, I'm not. You can lip sing it. No, you know. I, I, could, I can't sing. No, but you my can't. daughter, you my daughter Jemima, <laughs> she um, she showed me her TikTok page because it used to be called something else, didn't it, a long time, a few years ago. Musically. Musically. Well, Jemima has been on Musically for maybe five years, and she showed me when she was, a, you know, five years ago. She's kept all unbelievable. What she, what the kids can do on it. Mm -hmm. So I said she needs to do something for us, Connor. On your on the board, we want to sort of create what is it, five, six different posts a day for each different platform. What, what do you take care of? You do you do um, Insta? Um. I, I don't really post on Instagram. I do like Instagram TV, Instagram um, TV. YouTube, Twitter, yeah. and Facebook. Yeah. And Tess, what, what do you do? You do the Instagram. Instagram, Facebook, blogs, LinkedIn. Yeah. And so we've got a, we've got the business, um, Snapchat, haven't we? Yeah, we've got a business Snapchat. Are you any good at doing Snapchat? I don't know. I don't have one. But I know how it But you can, you can, because Snapchat, um, if you look at the, the Snapchat when it's done really professionally, they're amazing, yeah, aren't they? You know, because all the big uh, TV channels, Sky TV, all the news channels, they all have a Snapchat page, and the actual images will come up at the video. are just brilliant. Mm 
the graphics, it's like a, it's really, really good. So if you could do that, because once, if you do that on uh, Snapchat, that then can be saved and sent over to Instagram Story. Because it's, it, it, it's, it's portrait, isn't it? So we can use that on Snapchat, mm -hmm. Stories, Facebook Stories. Yeah, so just create as much as possible. And um, Aisha, so um, you've been phoning up the architects. And even me and Mohammed said how brave you were yeah. phoning people up yeah. out of the blue. Yeah. That's really brave. Yeah. And I think it would be a lot better if we now pinpoint architects. So, um, because not all architects do interior design. Mm -hmm. You know, so we can say, hi, you know, this is a new project at Fulham. We understand you do uh, architecture, but we want to offer you our interior design services. Plus construction. You know, so, you know, they, they may only do their architecture. Yeah. So if we can say, you know, you can say, hi, I'm Aisha. We do uh, architecture, interior design, and, um, construction mm -hmm. because they may say there's a bit of a conflict we we'll say well we don't have our own architectural practice because if we get work in we want to work with good architects as well yeah. Yeah. so if, if we if, if we get a job in for a loft conversion pod room basement we can give them the leads mm -hmm. so I think because did Rob got on the phone he said hey, as well I don't think he's on the phone I spoke to Rob this morning and he, he spoke to two people and I think he realises how hard it is. Yeah. You need to be on and off the phone in like a minute. Yeah, exactly. Um, it's nothing, it's not, you know, cold calling is really hard. Oh my gosh. Yeah. But cold calling is the original form of sales. If you could pick up the phone and, you know, you've done well because mm. you, you've got the, um, the Camden, the two Camden jobs. Mm. So it does work, mm. but it's just having the confidence to say, hi, this is Nick of New Projects, I just want to introduce our company to yeah. you. Because getting through from that, for them to say, oh, hi, Nick, you know, it's nice it. nice speech, because they're not going to say that, because no. they're going to say, oh, sorry, can you just email me all the details? Yeah, exactly. You've lost. So should I hit builders as well, other than architects? I, I would hit, because uh, uh, there's a website, mm -hmm. architecture.com. Right, and it's got it's for all the RICS approved architects, and then you can put, and then you go location. You put mm. Fulham, yeah. it will pull down all the architects, all the contact details. So you can say you can say to them, "Hi, that's what we do. We do yeah. all these services. Could I um, send you some information, or possibly arrange a meeting for me and you to go and see them?" Yeah, sure. Okay. I think I've called ten to fifteen people yesterday. And out of like uh, 15, I think three people responded to me like very nicely. They were very good at phone and they were like, they wanted to meet us. And one of them was like, I will come to you definitely. And yeah. he sounds very potential as well. Yeah. Because it's, yeah. and, you know, what, what it is, you know, when we phone someone up cold call and they're not expecting someone yeah. to say, we, we, we're selling. Yeah. But, you know, I've, I've just been speaking to Rob this morning. You know, we, there'd be architects out there, there'd be businesses out there, there'd be end users out there thinking, oh, do you know what, we, we, need, a, we need a good uh, interior design company or we need a construction company. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's timing. Mm -hmm. It's them thinking that this morning and then you phone them up. Yeah. All the stars align <laughs> and magic happens. <laughs> magic happens. Yeah. That's it. That's, that's the name of the game. Or, and you know, if they don't answer the first time, you know, put it in the door. Once you've got their details, phone them up again. Yeah, I was telling him the, uh, yesterday, some, uh, some people are not in good mood, but some people are in very happy mood. So they will respond you according to their mood. Exactly. Yeah. If, if, if they phone up someone like me, if they, sometimes I don't talk to anyone. Mm -hmm. But if, they, if I do talk to anyone, or if they speak to Tess, mm -hmm. and, or they approach me on social media to say, hi, I've, I've been following you on Instagram and I really like what you're doing. Do you mind if we set up a meeting? I'll have a quick look at what they look like, yeah. uh, what business they've got, and then I think, do you know what? They've made an approach. If they want to come and see me in the office, come in. Because yeah. that's how you got to me. Um, and that is how most of the people who we speak to um, come through.
because mm. they've got the courage to say hi, and I've spent a little bit of time thinking, oh, do you know what? You know, it may benefit both of us. Because yeah. some people are really busy, they don't have time, but they have this in their mind, they've got to do this one, this project, architectural, building, interior. I tell them everything, oh, what, what you told me. Exactly. And the more you say it, the more fluid it will become, yeah. and the more natural it is. Because then it's just all about being natural. Really and you're very, you're very upbeat and smiley anyway. So if you're smiling now, <laughs> that will translate down the phone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what's what's been Matt Mohammed been showing up there? Potential uh, projects. Yeah, you know, potential projects. Because we have some properties, yeah, for sale at the moment. And from what I've seen, some yeah. of them there could be a good uh, potential yeah. for there's construction there's work and interior design um, work. Yeah, uh, both. Asian clients or Middle, Middle Eastern, Eastern clients, clients. Yes, definitely. Would be, you know, because uh, that could be potential. a really good partnership. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, so yeah. for her to know what we're doing exactly. So yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll do it. So uh, I think as well, let's because the um, the email you sent out yesterday. Let's improve the email because you said you sent the logo in a really big format as well. Yeah. So we all need to sh sh get that hashtag new yeah. in a in a good format. Mm -hmm. And Connor's um, gonna take um, that on board. Yeah, so we we've designed a really good interior design brochure with, with for 2019. Okay. Make it amazing with a little bit of bio about the company and a, a little bit about you. So when you send it out from your email, it's got everything about, you know, you know, how your track record and how wonderful you've been and how how, how the clients love you and we got some examples, so we could put some examples of our projects in the brochure as well. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Great. Okay. All right. So. Um